Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the third news from today's newspaper front page. Dawn. WhatsApp seeks to reassure users over new rules. Karachi, WhatsApp on Tuesday sought to reassure its 2 billion users so that their personal messages to friends and family would remain private after an update in its terms of service raised in eyebrows uh, on social media and was criticized by digital rights activists, according to Dawn.com. WhatsApp's new privacy terms reserve the right to share user data, including location and phone number, with its parent Facebook in cooperation and units such as Instagram and Messenger. Privacy advocates have questioned the move citing Facebook's chat record in handling user data, with many suggesting that users to migrate into platforms such as Telegram and the Signal. In a statement, the messaging app sought to adjust some of the rumors going around, saying the new privacy policy would not affect the security of everyday conversations. We want to be clear that the policy update does not affect the privacy of your messages with friends or family in any way the company said. Instead, this update includes changes related to messaging a business on WhatsApp, which is optional and provides the further transparency about how we collect and reduce data. WhatsApp said despite the update, neither it nor Facebook and could treat users' messages or hear their calls with friends, families, or co-workers. Whatever you share, it stays between you. It said, reiterating that users' personal messages were protected by end-to-end -end encryption. The Facebook incorporation owned and said it also did not to keep logs of who user who you who users were messaging or calling and neither it nor Facebook could see the location of a user shared by them with someone on WhatsApp. When you share your location with someone on a WhatsApp, your location is protected by end-to-end -end encryption, which means no one can see your location except the people as you share it with it emphasized. WhatsApp stated that it, it did not share users' contact lists in their phones or with Facebook. Groups also remain private, according to the company. We use a group membership to deliver messages and to protect our service from spam and abuse. We don't share this data with Facebook for ads purposes, it said. For additional privacy, WhatsApp said a user could choose to set their messages to disappear from chats after sending them. Explaining its new terms, WhatsApp said messaging with businesses was different from messaging with your family or friends. We are giving businesses the option to choose secure hosting services from Facebook and to manage WhatsApp chats with their customers, answer questions, and send helpful information like purchase receipts. But whether you communicate with the business by phone, email, or 
WhatsApp, it can see what you are saying and may use that information for its own marketing purposes, which may include advertising or Facebook. To make sure that you are informed, we clearly label conversations with businesses that are choosing to use hosting services from Facebook, it added. Signal and Telegram have seen a sudden increase in demand following the update in WhatsApp's privacy policy. About 810,000 users globally installed Signal on Sunday, nearly 18-fold compared with the download numbers on January 6, the day WhatsApp updated its privacy terms according to data from the search for uh, Aptopia. Aptopia. The number is on track to cross 1 million. WhatsApp, which saw a 7% decline in daily installs on Sunday compared with Wednesday, was downloaded by nearly 1.2 million users on January 10, according to Aptopia. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get the fresh from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.